like hell she is. She was mugged. Oh. Yeah, right. I told you this was a bad idea. Just let me wrap her ankle, okay? And then we're out of here. My father had her evicted. Borrowed her one of the judges he plays golf with? Yeah, that'll never hold up. It's in effect now. Come on, 15 minutes, man. Show some decency, huh? My father might have put you in charge of Chandler Enterprises, but you are not in charge of this house. Hell, you're not even a real Chandler. And the real Chandler in this room has done the family so much good. All right, that's it. Get out of my house. It's not your house, JR. And Annie's staying. I'm inviting her to move back in. Flowers, how nice. Ah. Careful, 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 careful. Yeah, all in black and white. Stamps and signatures in the right places. You're incredible, you know that? Always working an angle. But I am surprised that Scott fell for your crud again. Yeah, this bans Annie from the house, all right. Mm. Glad you can read. Doesn't mention the gatehouse. <clears throat> you gotta be kidding me. Uh, no, it was my father's, and now it's mine. So you and Adam can pay off all the judges that you want, but Annie is perfectly free to stay at the gatehouse, is my guest. How naive are you? Annie's been playing you ever since she stuck her tongue down your throat. She needs a place to stay. I have the room. Yeah, and a nice big bed, too. Maybe Scott is just showing some basic human decency, kindness, things you know nothing about. I know enough about you. And whatever kind, decent thing Scott does, you'll repay the favor by sticking a knife in his back. Or a tire iron. You're hateful. Okay, it's settled then. I will move back in here and Annie will stay at the gatehouse. And as long as the two of you stay on your own sides of the property, you never have to see each other. Everybody happy? Okay. Let's look at that ankle. Come on. All right. Uh, oh! Go, go, go. It's already swelling. Yeah. Careful, careful, careful. Yeah. Cynthia, it's JR. I'm having some court orders sent over. It's regarding my father's wife. I believe he'll take a look at it and get back to me just as soon as possible. What's wrong? Uh, something I have to take care of. Or just another reason to miss your appointment? This can't wait. Yes, it can. Uh, You're gonna go to that checkup. I'm driving you there. JR is going to hate that we're still here. Well, JR is gone, and it is only until the staff gets the gatehouse ready. Got uh, that? Yeah. Okay, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ow. Sit, sit, sit. Press that angle. Oh. Okay. Uh, <sighs> I'll have Lucretia make you something. Scott. Yeah. Thank you. Again, for everything. You, you really are my knight in shining armor. The fact is, is that you saved Uncle Adam's life. Now yeah, you saved JR's life. So despite everything that you have done, and you have done a hell of a lot, you deserve a break. I just have one request. You name it. Yeah, cut the knight in shining armor line. I gave you a place to stay, you're grateful. I get that. But don't try to work me, Annie. Don't try to butter me up because you think it's going to help you with J.R. and Adam. Okay. Promise. I mean it, Annie. We keep this real. Or you really will be looking for a new place to live. Well, this is the room. Dr. Jones isn't here yet. Yeah, well, we're so late. You're lucky she's still keeping the appointment. Thanks for not letting me blow it off. JR, Marissa, how are you? Uh, that's what we're here to find out. I was afraid you weren't going to show at all. My wife made sure that I didn't miss it. We'll be doing a comprehensive checkup, but first I have some lifestyle questions, eating, sleeping, exercise habits, so you're welcome to stay for that. Shall we get started?